a small group of elite American paratroopers are assaulting a gun battery shelling the troops heading up from Utah Beach. Easy Company has taken the first two howitzers, but two more guns remain. Outnumbered by the enemy, the unit has just lost Trooper Halls to a German bullet. Easy Company is now low on men and ammunition. With casualties taken, this could be disastrous for morale. But despite the setback, Easy Company continue their assault. With sheer guts, Winters and his men storm the third gun. Helpless, the Germans are completely overwhelmed in a hail of bullets. They surrender, and the third howitzer belongs to Easy. Winters now has to put the three guns out of action permanently if the raid is to be successful. The fortunes of war can turn very quickly and the Germans can't be allowed to take those guns back. Winters orders TNT and grenades to be stuffed down the barrels of the 105s. It's guaranteed to put these guns out of action for good. Three howitzers are out of action, but the fourth remains. As long as it stays in German hands, it can threaten the advance inland from Utah Beach. Easy Company is still drawing heavy fire from the Germans. But as any hope of taking the fourth gun dwindles, new blood arrives. Lieutenant Ronald Spears and soldiers from Dog Company move in to reinforce Winters and his unit. Despite enemy fire, Spears begins his run to take the fourth and final howitzer. Spears went right in to take the fourth gun, and I was so hyped, I followed right behind him, covering him from the rear. Spears was as nutty as I was. He sent the Germans fleeing, and he took the gun, but he lost two men. The Germans make a break across a field to the safety of Braycor Manor. Easy Company has the enemy on the run. Spears' heroics have taken the fourth and final gun.